You have never seen such a women's prison. On the first day of imprisonment, they have to strip naked and then open feet to face the wall to accept the warden's inspection. After she was done, immediately put on new gloves to check. Nana's turn came next. She said, I'm having my period. Without saying a word, the warden, she went straight to work. This is my place. What are you thinking? Nana is officially in jail. She was sentenced to seven years in prison for burglary. Although this is a women's prison, but the inmates inside are all vicious criminals. As the cages opened, one by one, the women banged on the windows to welcome the newcomers. One by one, the previous inmates are assigned to their cells, and it's her turn. A fierce, dark-haired woman jumped off the bed and told the warden that it was too crowded. There's no room for the new arrivals. The woman is Emma here. Her daily hobby is drug cultivation. She has some connections with the warden so she dares to fight with him. Watching another girl being tortured to the point of mental breakdown, the warden had to transfer her to another cell. But as soon as she reached the door of her new cell, Nana lost her nerve. Her arms and legs were shaking and she wanted to see a doctor. The guards were speechless and sent her in. Once in the cell, Nana nervously began to introduce herself. Everyone laughed and laughed. She also started to make her funny jokes. Nana was exhausted and fell into bed. She wrapped herself up tightly. She didn't want to be disturbed by anyone. What Nana didn't expect was that her Selma was really nice. Lucy from the top bunk would ask her to make the bed. When she found out that Nana had been wrongly accused, the older siblings volunteered to help her hire a lawyer. Alice came up to her and warned her. The first rule of survival in Chris, don't go to anyone for help. Nana had no choice. This was her only chance to get out of jail. At night Nana tossed and turned and could only cry. Lucy from the bunk found out reassured her that the first night was the hardest and she would get used to it. In order to calm her down, Lucy put her hand down and let Nana hold her. She found a beautiful tattoo on Lucy's wrist. It wasn't long before Emma arrived. She came to ask Lucy for a cigarette. Lucy didn't dare to offend, so she agreed. Nana's mood stabilized and she drifted off to sleep. She couldn't have imagined that this would become a permanent goodbye. I can't believe this is the life of a women's prison. The prison doctor molests you. People will harass you. There are even people who want you dead. When you wake up in the morning, Nana found out that Lucy hadn't come home all night. That's when the guard came to check the room. She looked around and said the number was correct. Alice couldn't help but scold her for being blind. There was obviously one missing. The guard didn't care. Then Nana said she saw Lucy and Emma go out last night. The other two didn't say anything. Lucy should be dead. They were right. Lucy had been killed. She was roasted to death with a steam gun at 90 degrees. Nana who didn't know the truth, couldn't even eat. Where the hell is Lucy? Why didn't anyone react to the fact that someone was missing? Lucy was the first friend she made in prison. Nothing should happen to her. At that moment, a prison guard saw that she was very worried, so she asked why. Nana asked her about Lucy. The guard told her Lucy was dead. She couldn't believe it. Last night, she saw Lucy and Emma going out to smoke. A dinner plate fell on the opposite table. Emma was about to join them in the conversation. The guards saw what was going on and left. Nana and Alice were talking about Lucy during the afternoon farming. The news of Lucy's death. Alice was very sad. Alice said that many people in prison wanted to kill Lucy. Because that year she and her boyfriend drove. They intercepted a million dollars in cash. He was shot dead on the spot. Lucy was also handcuffed. But there wasn't any cash in the car. To avoid being discovered, Lucy put the location of the hidden money in a phone card. Alice guessed that Lucy's murder is related to the clue of the million dollars. At that time, Nana was cleaning up Lucy's land. Suddenly she found a bag. A phone card had leaked out. Could it be? This was the clue to the million dollars they were looking for. Before she knows it, Alice's lawyer arrives. She found out what was going on. She asked Nana for a million dollars. Or she'd have to stay here, across the room. Nana was stunned. She didn't have that kind of money. She's left the visiting room on the pretext that she wasn't feeling well. A group of guards surrounded the female inmate. They pulled down her pants. What was going on? This poor woman was so humiliated. That day Sarah asked her for a favor. She had to stay at the basketball court until 9. There was something she needed to pick up. But the basketball court closes at 9. How does Nana get in? Sarah snuck out of the book. Sarah pulls out an access card from a book and slips it to her. In the cafeteria, Nana was choosing her meal. The curly-haired girl, who had taken a liking to her, leaned over to greet her. At that moment, the warden rushed in with the guards. It turns out that just now, the surveillance camera found the female inmates were passing around pocket knives. The warden was so scared that he sent someone to collect them. 
Nana got involved in this way because in her pocket she was carrying a door card that her Selma had given her. The consequences of a search were unthinkable. The curly-haired girl saw the difference. She decided to help Nana. After all, assaulting a police officers would get her beaten up. But if she helps Nana, she'll have a woman. Before Nana could react, the curly-haired girl pushed the guard in front of her. In a panic, Nana threw her card into the soup pot. The cafeteria lay caught her right in the act. In that evening, she went to the basketball court. How could she stay until 9 without her card? She saw a basket of balls underneath her. An idea came to her mind. First she looked around. The next second, she turned over and hid in the basket. On the other hand, the warden was furious with the warden because of the knife and the door card. The warden was furious with the warden. He told her to check every cell. Nana, who had been hiding in the ball basket until 9, suddenly she heard the sound of the assembly. I don't see. On the other side, a drone appeared in front of Nana. She hurriedly grabbed the object underneath. She opened it and saw that it was a bag of drugs. Forget about it. She stuffed it into her pants. Then she reached down and unscrewed a wire, locked herself in the basket. She shouted for help. She created the illusion that she was being locked in. Soon the guards came. They were about to send Nana back. But then the warden runs into her. The warden suspected something fishy and asked to search her. Soon a bag of drugs fell out. Nana was put in solitary confinement. She was desperate. Suddenly, Nana saw the number 8 written on the wall. Lucy had been here too. She remembered Lucy's millions in cash. She thought of the one dollar million the lawyer wanted. She had an idea. Well, that's the end of this video. See you in the next video.